teacher, it is 8 a.m. Yes, ma'am. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A quote of the day is, success is simple, but strive the right way at the right time. Today, the topic of my presentation is human resource development and job analysis. Learning our introduction of human resource development, a concept of human resource development, difference between human resource development and human resource management, challenges of human resource development, job description, job specification, job analysis, and recent updates. In the end of this presentation, participants will be able to uh, describe human resource development, its functions and differences between human resource development and management, along with job analysis and specification. Human resource development, introduction. It is the process of developing the human resource working in an organization by modernizing their knowledge and upgrading their skills, uh, attitudes and perceptions in order to meet out the changing trends of the globalized economy. Uh, utilize those developments for the attainments of the organizational goals. Objectives of human resource development. Human resource development as an activity and uh, as a process plays a crucial and noteworthy role. It, uh, it plays a role in identifying the hidden potential of the employee, uh, polish their skills, develop technical knowledge, uh, prepare them for facing the challenges of their own. Uh, there are multiple concepts that were, pre uh, that were used previously. First is the commodity concept. Uh, human resource was uh, referred as a commodity to be bought and sold. Uh, wages were decided on the basis of demand and supply forces. Uh, the factor of production concept. Uh, in this uh, concept, the labor is treated as any other uh, factor of production, uh, excluding money, material, and land, etc. Uh, another concept is the goodwill concept. Welfare measures like safety, first aid, lunch room, restroom, etc. These measures prove to be a source of boosting up the morale of workers and enhancing their performance. Uh, other concept is the paternalistic concept. Management must assume a fatherly and protective attitude towards employers. Uh, paternalism does not mean merely providing benefits, but it uh, signifies to satisfy various needs of employees, just as parents meet the requirements of the children. A human resource concept. Uh, employees are the most valuable assets of an organization. There should be a conscious effort to realize organizational goals by satisfying needs and aspirations of the employees. Functions of human resource development. It helps in identifying organizational goals. Um, it fosters commitment through communication values. It facilitates the edic relationship. It increases the awareness of the uh, importance of change management and consequently adaptability of the employees. It provides a higher uh, quality of work life through opportunities. It focuses on needs through recognition and achievement with appropriate human resource development program. It makes people more competent, promotes openness in the overall growth of employees. Resources are utilized in an optimum manner. It helps in developing a sense of belongingness among the employees and increases the participation rate among them. There are uh, some differences among human resource development and human resource management. Uh, human resource management is an occasional process, while human resource development is a continuous process. Another difference is uh, that uh, management process mainly a service function enduring with the uh, demands of the organization, while human resource development is a proactive function which forecasts the need of organization and keep itself prepared to face the unseen competition in an organized manner. Another difference is that the management process is uh, enhancing skills and increasing efficiency of people in the organization. While human resource development uh, has concept of building up the right organizational climate that could discover and utilize human capabilities in an optimum manner. Uh, human resource management uh, is the main, uh, contains main motiva motivators are salary, uh, wage in incentives and job simplifications. 
while in development job enrichment job challenges informal uh, organizational climate and creativity for motivating the workforce in the organization mm, uh, management uh, has uh, the exclusive responsibility of the human resource managers while the uh, developmental process considered as the responsibility of all the managers in the organization mm, higher morale and satisfaction uh, is included in the high, uh, human resource management while improved job satisfaction and morale of the employee on work is the uh, human resource development program now how human resource development works Uh, there are three main pillars first is training and development second is organizational development and third is career development no training and development it focuses on changing or improving the uh, knowledge skill and attitude of the individuals um, employ it uh, includes employee orientation coaching a process and counseling techniques no employee orientation it is the process by which new employees learn important organizational values and norms establish working relationships and learn how to function within boundaries uh, there is the coaching process individuals are encouraged to accept responsibility for their actions to address any work related problems and to achieve and sustain superior level of performance a uh, counseling counseling is used to help employees to deal with the personal problems Uh, that they may interfere with the achievement of these goals uh, counseling programs may address issues such as um, substance abuse stress management smoking cessation nutrition and weight control etc um second pillar is the organizational development um process of enhancing the effectiveness of an organization and well being of its members through planned intervention that apply behavioral science concept and macro development and micro development are included in this third pillar is the career development it is the ongoing process by which individuals progress through series of stages each of which having different issues themes and tasks uh, career planning career planning is activities performed by an individual often with assistance of counselors and others to assess his or her skills and abilities in order to establish realistic career plan and uh, second is career management career management involves taking necessary steps to achieve that plan and generally focuses more on what an organization can do to foster employee career development uh now job analysis job analysis includes two main uh, points job specification and job analysis Job analysis is the systematic procedure for determining the duties and skill requirement of the job and find the person who should hire who should be hired for it. Duties, responsibilities and specifications are all included in the analysis. Uh processes in job analysis there are um, this is the key organizational analysis that leads to selection of jobs to be analyzed uh, after their data collection that determines what information to collect and how a process of information then job description and then comes job specification job description a list of job duties responsibilities and working conditions uh, and outcome of job analysis now what should be the format format should include job title qualification experience recruitment and main responsibilities job specification includes a uh, skills knowledge attitude which are required by individual to carry out duties required for a job performance appraisal the process of identifying measuring and developing human uh, performance in organization uh, essential part of human resource management important analytical tool it identifies and uh, strengths and weaknesses it improves uh, performance of the workers uh types of appraisal performance appraisal based on trait performance appraisal based on behavioral competencies performance appraisal based on management by objectives and 360 degree feedback now performance appraisal based on trait uh traits refers to innate characteristics in trait appraisal the managers would look at the degree to which an employee exhibits uh, a desired trait in relation to the job 
performance appraisal based on behavioral competencies. Behavioral appraisal uh, looks at specific actions that are related to job. Third, uh, third is performance appraisal based on management by objective. Uh, the program management by objective continuously uh, emphasizes what needs to be done in the organization in order to achieve the objectives. A uh, 360 degree feedback can also be added in the step of providing feedback in management by objective cycle. 360 degree feedback. It is a feedback process where not just your superiors, but peers, juniors, patients, and direct reports, and sometimes even uh, customers evaluate you. It acts as a catalyst for development by helping participants identifying their strengths as well as opportunities for improvements. Uh, recent updates. This is an article published on human resource development in Pakistan. It is an abstract uh, overview. Uh, the purpose of the papers are to first is to address human resource development in Pakistan's government and non-profit sectors. Uh, second is to share Pakistan's human resource development resources with the uh, international human resource development community and the third it creates awareness among the human resource development community about the need to promote human resource development by sharing its knowledge with the developing countries and it also um, is using inquiry as a building block for studying normal level human resource development in pakistan in this paper authors plan to show how human resource development in a developing country uh, can be as challenging if not more as it is in a developed country it is hoped that this paper will add uh, much. Another article published is a uh, job analysis as a tool for improved organizational performance of uh, SMEs in Lagos and Nigeria. Uh, the analysis was done using statistical package for social sciences version. Uh, 20 and the results obtained showed that the proper job analysis improves productivity at work efficiency and organizational profitability. Uh, findings also showed that there are significant challenges that hamper the effective implementation of job analysis. Mm, the study thus uh, recommended that uh, entrenching a company policy of robust talent management and job analysis in order to bring about continuous improvement of staff performance and organizational efficiency. Uh, now coming towards the MCQ session. First MCQ is human resource development as an activity uh, and as a process plays a crucial role, uh, crucial and noteworthy role in human resource development. There is a different concept if we deal or employ with money, material, and land. Uh, this concept is option A is commodity concept, option B is goodwill concept, option C is humanitarian concept. And option D is human resource concept. D. A. Yes, option A is the right one. A. This is commodity concept. Second MCQ is in an XY city, some organizations run successfully and they provide facilities like lunch, waiting room, and prayer room. This concept lie in which of the following? Option A is goodwill concept. Option B is commodity concept. Option C is human resource concept. And option D is paternalistic concept. A. Yes, option A is the right one, a goodwill concept. <clears throat> third, M <clears throat> sorry. Uh, third MCQ is employees are the most valuable assets of any organization. There is a combined uh, effort to achieve the goals of organization to satisfy the needs of employee. Uh, this concept is option A is goodwill concept, option B is commodity concept, option C is human resource concept, and option D is paternalistic concept. C. Option uh, C is the right one, human resource concept, because employees are the most valuable of any organization this uh, thing is considered under human resource concept. Uh, fourth MCQ is Mr. Ali is a successful businessman. Uh, he always treats his workers in a good way. 
discussion with an employee of problem that usually has an emotional content in order to help the employee cope with it better is considered as option a is morale option b is motivation option c is leadership and option d is counseling d counseling d counseling Yes, D is the right answer. Counseling uh, is the concept that deals with the uh, dealing with the emotional content of the workers. Fifth MCQ is uh, a person A B C has a very good feedback report from her colleagues and friends. Um, a resident's uh, feedback on uh, performance is taken from his supervisor, his colleagues, and support staff. This is an example of. Option A is trait based performance appraisal. Option B is the performance appraisal by management by objective. Option C is 360 degree feedback. Option D is 180 degree feedback. C. 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 Yes, C is the right answer because in 360 degree feedback, uh, feedback is uh, collected from all the colleagues, friends, and uh, seniors and juniors. Next MCQ is uh, on 30th September, an advertisement was published in the newspaper for hiring woman medical officer. Uh, the estimated salary was about one lakh, and the uh, woman medical officer has to work at pediatric ward. Travelling allowance and medical insurance will be done by organization. This is an example of option A is job specification, option B is job description. option c is job requirement and option d is job offer letter b, b. Job description. b. description uh option b is the right one because all the things are described in the advertisement that uh, how much amount will be given and uh, where to work seventh mcq is an uh, hiv prevention program is looking for a manager who has good listening skills ability to work as well uh, as a team uh, hard working and have relevant 5 years of experience this is an example of option a is job specification option b is job description option c is job requirement and uh, d is job offer letter a A. Yes, A A is the right answer. Job specifications uh, are all given because skill, ability, and to work alone or as a team is uh, under the job specification title. Eighth MCQ is the postgraduate resident has been graded on the task uh, he was given for previous months. The task included uh, managing five ICU patients, ten ward patients, and doing four emergency duties in an efficient manner. this performance appraisal is an example of um, option a is trait based performance appraisal option b is performance appraisal based on management by objective um, uh, c is performance appraisal based on behavioral competencies and the uh, uh, last option d is 360 degree feedback b c e. uh option b is the right one ninth mcq is a prevention program wants to hire community field workers for health awareness and campaigns against infectious diseases a uh, process is whereby a firm attracts or finds capable individuals to apply for employment is called option a is selection option b is recruitment option c is promotion and option d is a uh, finalization C B B S B is the right answer. Uh, last MCQ is for betterment of organization. There is a process in which the new employees learn important organizational skills and employ values. Option A is employee orientation. Option B is appraising. Option C is counseling process, and option D is mentoring. A A Yes, A is the right answer. Employee orientation is the process in which new employees learn important organizational skills. This is the key, and thank you.